السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear students of first secondary We are going to complete unit 2 Egyptian knowledge bank Questions Let's start Question number 11 Sample equation for decomposition of iron to sulfate We have two states of iron Iron 2 and iron 3 Iron 2 we called it ferrous And iron 3 we called it ferric so here we have iron in physical state or iron 2 its symbol lose two electrons and sulfate group gain the two electrons okay so its symbol will be FeSO4 is given below so we have here the reaction FeSO4 decomposed to give Fe2O3 plus SO2 gas and SO3 gas what is the reactant in this chemical reaction okay we want to know what is the reactant here we said before the reactant will be before the arrow or at the left side of the reaction so the reactant will be FeSO4 Question number 12. In the process of photosynthesis, carbon dioxide and water vapor react together. So, they are before what? Before the arrow. We have here carbon dioxide and water vapor. In the presence of sunlight to produce glucose and oxygen. So, what is or which of the following word equation describes the chemical reaction? I think it's clear. Here we have number A without any choose or without any remembering we have carbon dioxide plus water will give glucose and oxygen gas question number 13 here we have solid calcium carbonate decomposed calcium carbonate calcium divalent and carbonate divalent so it's symbol ca is co3 تمام okay up on heating to produce carbon dioxide okay it's a solid or a complex substance so number one will be wrong number two will be wrong or a will be wrong c may be d may be and the last one e not with that so we have number c and number d okay to produce carbon dioxide, it will give carbon dioxide here and the solid calcium oxide. So the answer will be which of the following symbols equation or symbolic equation with the state symbol describes this chemical reaction. I think it's a clear answer here. Number D, CaCO3 solid decomposed to give CaO solid and carbon dioxide gas. Question number 14. The simple equation for a chemical reaction is shown below. We have here sodium hydroxide react with sulfuric acid to give sodium sulfate and water. To make this reaction, we want to know the reactant and the product. We said before, reactant before the arrow and product after the arrow. We have here two reactants. What are the reactant? Sodium hydroxide in AOH and sulfuric acid H2SO4. Okay, what do we want in our question? What are the product of this reaction? We have here two compounds. After the arrow, we have sodium sulfate and water. We have what? Sodium sulfate and water in A2CO3. Uh, so, sorry, in A2SO4 and water okay we have here the answer will be number c in a 2 so4 and plus 2h2o another question another question here question number 15 which of the following statements describe or best describes a chemical reaction okay what happened in a chemical reaction we take it in third prep we have a chemical reaction two make any reaction of any substance we must break down the bond in the reactant so if we have any simple substance 
contain bone. So to activate this reaction, we give energy to break down the bond or breaking of bond in the reactant. As a result of it, it will what will happen? Products will have new bond or a new kind of bond depending on the type of reaction. So any chemical reaction is breaking up of bond or breaking down of bond in the reactant or of reactant and formation or making a new bond in product. So the answer will be number A here. Question number 16. We have here question number 16. Complete the following. The relative numbers of reactant and the product species are represented by. Okay. What is the meaning of this question? We wanted to know the number of reactant or product. We can call them what inside the equation. We said before, as we studied, that we have different numbers in the equation. We have number in front of a chemical compound or element and number that written subscript below each element or compound. Subscript here means below the element symbol means that we have number including or representing the valency or oxidation number of element. Another one in front of the element or compound, we call it coefficient. Coefficient means number of atoms or substances that we use to make the balance of equation. Okay, so here we have the relative numbers of reactant and the product species are represented by what we say coefficients. Okay. Another question here, question number 17. Which of the following is the most correct form of writing a chemical equation? Okay, here we have, we make adding two, if we have two substances, we make adding. Okay, so we want to know how we can write a chemical equation. I think number A and number B, they are wrong at all. Okay, number one, we didn't make multiplication. Second one, without any physical state. So we have two equations here. Equation number C and D. What is the difference between them here? What do you think? I think they are equal. What do you think about them? What is the difference between them? Look at them carefully. What is the difference between them? Okay. Think about them. We have here two NaOH aqueous solution and sulfuric acid H2SO4 aqueous solution to give sodium sulfate Na2SO4 aqueous solution also and water 2H2O liquid. So the right answer here will be number C. Okay. Another question, question number 18. Question number 18, hydrogen gas can be produced by reacting zinc with sulfuric acid. Okay, zinc is a metal and it reacts with sulfuric acid. It means that zinc will replace hydrogen of acid. Okay, this reaction also produces zinc sulfate. Okay, we have here products the first one a will be wrong b c d and e e with not with us we have three equations b c and d okay this chemical reaction here we have c is wrong as we have a complex here it's wrong at all we have b and d we have D wrong also. We have zinc that reacts with sulfuric acid ZN plus. 
H2SO4, sulfuric acid, to give zinc sulfate, ZnSO4, and the hydrogen gas evolving. So the right answer will be number B, Zn plus H2SO4, zinc. With sulfuric acid will give zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas evolving. Question number 19. The word equation for a chemical reaction is shown below. Zinc plus hydrochloric acid will give zinc chloride and hydrogen gas evolving. What are the reactants in this reaction? Okay, reactants, as we said before, they are before the arrow or at the left side of the reaction. So we have here zinc plus hydrochloric acid. Or the right answer would be number A, zinc and hydrochloric acid. New question and last question of this group. Question number 20. Complete the following reaction with the correct compound. NaHCO3 solid reacts with hydrochloric acid aqueous solution to give what? Plus H2O liquid and carbon dioxide gas. Okay, here we have a main product. A main product for this reaction will be sodium with another substance. If we have this reaction, we said before that is a replacement of metal with hydrogen of gas. Okay, so if we have sodium bicarbonate, its name reacts with hydrochloric acid, so sodium will remove hydrogen of acid, HCl or hydrochloric acid, to give sodium chloride salt. We have here sodium chloride salt. Sodium chloride salt will not alone. It will inside what? Inside the solution here. So we have sodium chloride aqueous solution. And the right answer will be number C N A C L aqueous solution. Thank you for joining. Wait for more questions of Egyptian knowledge test.